The Hercules microcontroller family is known for its safety features and I've made a demo program to showcase them. Uh, there are two types of tests going on in this program. There are self-checks that verify uh, if the processor and the memory is in a consistent state. And there is a second type of tests where I inject an error into the microcontroller, into its memory or into its peripherals. And then you can see what's happening inside of the microcontroller. Ideally, the program that I've made is used together with the debugger so you can have a look at the state of the controller and you can see how to recover from those situations. I've written a blog on the demo application and I will put a link below in the comments. Um, the blog goes over the different tests that you can do and also shows the ideal debug points, uh, the locations where you can put a breakpoint to step through what's happening when we inject an error. It's divided in two parts. One part explains the integrity tests where we verify the CPU consistency and the memory. And then the second part is where the real goodies are and where you can find how to inject errors into the microcontroller. Here is an example of where we inject inconsistencies in the onboard flash. And then the microcontroller is supposed to detect that and to flag the error. Um, the blog contains the source code where you can see where things are happening and it also explains the debug options where you can set your breakpoint and we'll do that exercise in this video too. I have already started the debugger but I haven't put the breakpoint yet. We will replicate the flash error so the best location for our breakpoint is in the file flash.c in this function here. So let's find that and put the breakpoint. This is the function where everything is happened so we will put our breakpoint here. There are a few things to look at while I'm doing this demo. I'll be using the joystick here to navigate through the menu and select the flash error item. And then our breakpoint will kick in and we will end up in Code Composer Studio. I will step through the code and at a certain point you will see that the error led, uh, it's here on, on this part of the launchpad, will turn on. And that means that the error detection and error signaling mechanism of our Hercules microcontroller has caught our mishap. So let's go ahead, let's start the program. Once the menu is there, I'm going to select that menu option that we were talking about, the flash ECC error. And you'll see that our breakpoint that we've just set will kick in. So I'm going to press the button now. And here we go, the breakpoint has kicked in. And we will go over the code step by step at a certain point, you will see that this LED here will light up and that means that we have injected the error situation that we wanted. The first thing we'll do is enable the error checking and correction flag in the core. And then we go do bad things. And the red LED lights up. And that's a good thing. That's what we wanted to do. We have voluntarily injected an error situation into our microcontroller and the error signaling module has detected that and as flagging now via a hardware pin that it is in an unstable state. The rest of our code is resetting the controller to a valid state and doing the user interface. So from here on, there is no use in debugging any further anymore. So I'm going to execute the code further. Once you have done this, uh, you can push any button on the joystick to reset the error mechanism and we are back in the beginning and we can select another error. You can put debug points on most of the functionalities and step through what's happening and learn how the error mechanisms of the microcontroller work. There is only one test at this moment where you can't do that and that is the dual lockstep core test because in debug mode that one never is detected. So that's a test that only runs when the processor is running in its natural behavior without a debugger connected. There is no use to put a breakpoint there because it will never catch. But if you run that test without a debugger attached, just uh, with the launchpad plugged in, you'll see that also core inconsistencies are detected and the red light burns here. If you want to learn more about the Hercules microcontroller safety features, go ahead and look at the blog. Try this for yourself, step through the code, there are loads of things to learn there and it's a good starting point to understand how the microcontroller is behaving when something odd happens.